so hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and finally we are in the day two of the chain ai agent intensive course so before we start in case you are subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video now here we will find the other two courses here you can see you have to come to courses or uh, you can just navigate via video also okay so here you can see the day one course one a and one p solutions are here make sure to watch it one more important thing whenever you see a video make sure to hype it the video too so now let's come to the day two over here this is the page i'll link the page in the description or you must have received this email okay so in day two we have to focus on the external tool functions that allow our agent to perform several functions sorry actions like retrieving real-time data beyond its training set and just improving it so let's come to the agent tools interoperability and with mcp so here if you want to listen to the summary postcard uh, let's open it also so this is basically video i think so so here let's complete the code lab and many of you are asking that we have to submit so basically for the course one we don't have to submit it he only i think the capstone project only we have to submit so here you can see they have shared all the details if you want to read you can easily read basically about the agent tools and how they work so let's start our task from here so let's come over here open in a new tab so this is 2a assignment make sure you are signed in to the kaggle and your phone number is verified now click on copy and edit now once you click on copy and edit a new version of the basically notebook will be saved for you so it's taking some time and many of you are facing some issues for that also i have addressed it in a video basically this is about the error which you are getting sometimes the rate limit error or api error in that case you have to wait for some time because the resources were exhausted and let's see this module now so day two is the day one we have learned to create agents and build tools like google search and now also the one b that is multi-agent system so let's come so now here you can clearly see why do we need agent tools so basically without agent tools agents knowledge is frozen in time like it cannot access today's news weather and multiple things so let's build our agent tool and here you can read that they have mentioned you don't have to submit okay you don't have to submit it anywhere and when you start the notebook okay you may get a banner that waiting for the next notebook to available basically this is due to the peak hours yesterday also i faced this issue so do not worry and you have to run one serve command one by one so we have copied it and now we have to create a kaggle ai api key so let me open it yesterday i created it but still i am creating a new api key so that i am getting fresh keys okay so here the api key we have to create and if we wait a second let me create a new api key so let's create a new api key name the api key day two select create project project name day two so like this we are creating it so here finally the new project is successfully created now we have to create the api key so the api key is also created now come over here and you can see this add-ons click on secrets and here the api key was already selected in case this option is not showing you have to click on add secret and here in the value you have to paste the api key and in the label you have to copy from here to here like this and just paste over here so i'm just updating the api key okay now just save it yes save it now many times you are getting this error like api keys please add the api key chances are there this checkbox is not selected by default you should make sure that this checkbox is selected now come over here and you have to just run the first shell so now the session is starting wait for some more time
and make sure you have liked the video and hyped the video too so you can see the session is started and here you can see the setup and authentication is completed we are still waiting for it to get stopped because the execution is still in queue state now come over here and import all the edk tools before working on any tools we need to import all the requirements files okay requirement modules and files also so we are importing all the requirement modules and basically the edk components and after that we'll run the helper function so i hope you are able to understand each and everything whatever i'm trying to show in this tutorial and don't worry all the five days module will be covered in this channel make sure you share the channel with your community members and subscribe it so it's taking a bit of time do not worry about it so finally here you can see the ADK component is successfully imported. Now we have to run the helper functions to generate the basically generate the Python code. Okay. So it's generated and defined. Now you have to just configure it. Just run it. Basically, why it's not running? Let me see. Okay, it's already run. Now let's come to the second point and just stimulate. So basically, are we getting the output also? So why the output is not printing? Let me see. Yes, you can see here the first test is generated. Now the second test will be also generated. So let's see whether it's working or not. It's still not working. So let's try to click on it. And here you can see the output is generated. You have to wait for a few seconds and just try again. Okay, now just wait a second, click on it and run it. So here you can see we got the output without any error. So this is how we have to complete it. Now here we are in the section C, sorry, three. Here we'll be improving the agent reliability with code. Okay, so here we have to ask our agent to generate a Python code and do the math and run it for our final result so here you have to come over here you can see user current enhanced currency agent now here you can get just you can see what we are doing calculation so we are just generating for getting fee payment method exchange rate and here you can see the calculation agent is just using the built-in code executor okay so just run it So here, I think we have completed, yes, this step we have to wait. Basically, it's taking time because lots of people are completing. So you may face some kind of error again and again. So it's just calculating, okay. If you're not getting the output, try to rerun it again and again. So now we have to run the next code. Let's see, here you can see we got the output. Now we have to define the runner. So here you can see how we define the runner. Enhance underscore runner equal to space, space equal to space, in memory runner bracket, agent equal to enhance, currency agent. So like this, we have to just run it. Now run the second one. Okay, when you run it, you'll see this kind of number. So like this, you have to complete. So here also we got the output. Now, if you want to see the Python code, you can just run it. And it is just generated the Python code, which was fully processed previously. Now we are in the third agent tools versus sub agent. So basically what are the difference? So here you can see agent tools, what we are using. Agent A calls the agent B as a tool. And then in the, basically it's just like vice and versa. So the agent B response goes to back to the A, okay. So basically agent A you can see is admin and agent B is member. Okay. So this is the basic difference and sub agents like you can just, you can see when you have any telegram group or any WhatsApp group, you can transfer the ownership or adminship to completely to a different owner. Like this, we in the sub agents, different pattern, you can transfer the agent A role completely to the agent B. And here in 
just like vice principal in case of school take care of the school similarly a if you transfer the basically admin panel admin control then it will just take over the all the task of the agent a okay and here agent a is out basically he may be enjoying the holidays now come to the section 4 over here you can see so what function tools we have used in this course so far basically we have used the get fee payment method get exchange rate and now we have done the long running function tools also and agent tools we have used for calculation now here you can see we have used the mcp tools also for accessing the file system google maps databases now we have to use the built-in tools okay built-in tools we have to use and here you can see oh basically it's just summarizing what we have used so basically we have completed the truck and day module one and second day module b basically 2b will be live also soon so make sure you hype the video and subscribe the channel because all five days will cover intensive course together now here you can see we have used this tool we have covered this now in the built-in tools we have covered the google search built-in cloud connector and basically what are the advantages if you see they have mentioned reliability test tools and workbox so here we have completed it if you want you can save it and many if you are getting error in the save version also so do not worry about it one more important thing i wanted to share that basically we don't have to submit these assignments these are for practice purpose maybe they will ask for only the kaggle project so this was the quick thing i wanted to share to like the video subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great ahead